The sun is trying to come down on me. Come down on me. What's up guys? So I'm back. Whoa, no. It's not how we're gonna start that. I'm back to you guys with another video. Um, it's not a styling video, it's a DIY. Yeah, why do I always have to be so extra? I have not done DIYs, a DIY video in the longest, and I wanna get back into my creative side. I know you guys like these videos the most. All the trend of bucket hats has been going um, has been going on a lot this summer. Um, I usually see them on a lot of celebrities like Schoolboy Q. I think he started this trend. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I made this hat. All I'm using is just a t-shirt to make the hat. I didn't use anything else. I used a t-shirt and a pillowcase. Um, you can use any type of fabric that you would like. I would recommend using a really thick fabric just to make it really sturdy because as you guys can tell, I have just used a cotton fabric t-shirt and pillowcase and mine's is kind of flimsy but it is comfortable so I mean it's whatever you prefer. Stop talking. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Alright you guys, so the materials that you're going to need is fabric, paper, some pins, some fabric scissors and paper scissors, a marker and you're also going to need a ruler. What you're going to do is start off by getting taking your piece of paper and folding it hamburger style. What you're going to want to do is take your ruler, line it up with the paper and mark it right in the middle. Then you're going to go up on the ruler 3.5 inches and mark right there and you're going to be making a half circle so once you've made this pattern this is going to be for the top of your hat you're just going to cut that out and there you have your circle I'm just, I'm gonna put this now you're gonna be making the pattern for the middle portion of the hat and what you're gonna want to do is mark this 11 inches across and on the side you are going to mark it four inches and you're just going to i'm just lining it across the pattern and i'm going to go ahead and cut that out like so now you're going to take that pattern for the top portion of your hat and we're going to take this and fold it in fourths and to make the brim of your hat this is what you're going to do you're going to line that pattern up and you are just going to trace that and then you're going to mark 2.5 inches out from the rounded edge of your um pattern and there you have it now we're just going to go ahead and cut out this pattern for the brim So once you have made all your patterns, now you're going to go ahead and lay them on your fabric. I'm just using an old t-shirt. What I'm going to do is lay my pattern on the folded half of my t-shirt. And you also want to make sure, you also want to make sure you have a quarter of an inch for a seam allowance. Um, so that is my first pattern. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next pattern. The real nigga shouty, so come in, throw that pussy shouty. See, I think you and me can make it. This little verse will get you naked. See your heart ain't meant for breaking. Cupid's never been mistaken. See, I've been caught up in the moment. See my type ain't quite a type. But now for the brim, I did have to just cut out the top portion of my t-shirt because I didn't want the buttons to get in the way. What you're gonna do is for fold this in fourths. You can do this with any fabric. You're just gonna fold it in fourths and you're gonna place your brim pattern on the fabric and just cut that out. Still making sure that you do have a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You want to make a full rounded circle for the brim. I'm just sitting in the studio. And there it is. So I'm just placing both of the patterns on top of each other. And I am now going to place that pattern on my pillowcase. And this is going to create the lining for the for the brim of the hat and i'm just going to pin this down and i'm just going to cut around and then i am also going to cut the middle portion and there you have the brim once you get done doing that 
all you're gonna have to do is sew the outer portion of the brim. So I did mess up on my fabric, so what I have to go back and do for the middle portion of my fabric is cut that down the middle, and then I'm just going to sew those on both sides. Also going to go ahead and sew around the edge of my brim pattern. I am just going to take the top fabric for my hat and i'm going to take the middle portion and i am going to be pinning those together i'm going to be pinning those right sides together it's pretty tricky but you'll get it and i'll sew those together just going to take the top portion of my hat lay it on the brim and i am just going to sew that around pin it and sew it around there you have the finished hat um it's super easy to make if you guys enjoyed the tutorial um, if you like DIYs, definitely don't forget to thumbs up this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! See, I've been in the studio just trying to get to you, baby. All night laying verses, though, I'd rather lay with you, baby.